is, even my worst enemy should ne never ever go through that again. I forgive three sets of people. So, <laughs> One, one year ago, at uh, almost exactly this spot, I was leaving a barber shop at almost uh, about an hour before this time when we are speaking, and some guys came and said they were police. They picked me, they put up me in a car, and they drove along Kiambu Road to some place. They held me now for almost seven, eight hours. They beat me up. Their aim was to kill. They wanted information, and they also wanted me to stop supporting the then Deputy President William Ruto. And uh, my message was very clear that uh, once a decision is made by the people and sons of Kirinyaga, they don't go back. And I was in a group called Radical at the time also, which is, I'm still in. And uh, the message there was that we are not, uh, there was no looking back, we were men on a mission. So later after they did what they did, they left me for the dead somewhere in Kasarani, where after some time I was saved, went to hospital, and the rest, as they say, is a tweet. That is why today we are here to commemorate and remember that day and to tell those guys they did not succeed and they will not succeed in the future. We broke the chains and we have come here with our roads, not with their chains, to cook chapatis and serve community and also enjoy ourselves and have fun. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the government is, is currently against extrajudicial killings and probably you could have been a victim of uh, the extrajudicial killings. Uh, have you forgiven those people who kidnapped you and uh, do you think you would probably suggest to the government to take action against the officers who kidnapped you? What I would say is uh, yes, the government has no choice but to be against extrajudicial killings because we are there and we will not allow anyone else to go what we went through. It is Even my worst enemy should ne never ever go through that again. I forgive three sets of people. The first set of people I want to forgive today is the people who claimed that you are faking it. Those I forgive them with my entire heart. I want to forgive the rogue police officers who were sent to execute and kill. I forgive them. I however forgive my friends, some of whom I helped get into power, senior police officers. And to them I say, I forgive you. I'm a free man. I'm having fun. I'm laughing with my friends. I... I'm taking photos today. I'm having a lot of fun, so I don't want to go back to what it was then, and I also want to move on. The thing is, when you hold a grudge, you never quite move on from last year. So this year, I want to go to the next year, a free man in heart, soul, and mind. Uh, we saw you had quite severe injuries. Are you now like 100% uh, back to your full health and everything? Or you have something that probably could be bugging you? <laughs> what you see is what you what you see is what exactly is happening. So it's okay. <laughs> For the it yeah. it's Christmas, the rest we will test and see whether it's operational. Yeah. But everything is okay. Okay, okay. So why did you choose here, this place along Kiambu Road, and uh, who are you targeting with this initiative? I chose Kiambu Road because it's exactly the same place where the kidnapping happened. Who am I targeting? I'm targeting uh, Boda Boda riders. Who are my friends? And I've, uh, you know, I started life around this area when it was technically a bush. These guys used actually to, I used to trans get transported by Boda Boda guys, sometimes on credit. So I've grown up and they have seen me go up. So these are my friends. So that's why I chose and that's why I'm targeting them. Yeah. Okay. And you, you started this initiative in 2016 or thereabouts, right? And then you got the Kidogo, now you are back. Chapatis are good for... The, chap, if there is one thing that united us as we grew up was chapati. It was a rare thing in the village. So during Christmas, chapatis were available. So it was always good now to come back and use chapati as a form of communication. I never went down. I just didn't go public. Chapatis continued. We went to prisons. We went to schools. We are bringing it back to public to unite people. And also to teach some... There are very many people, as you have seen, who don't know how to cook a chapati. So yeah, it's also a method for them to learn how to fix a chapo. Yeah. <laughs> Are you looking at doing this probably annually or...? Yeah, I actually want to do one for the media. So let's organize ourselves. <laughs> we'll do a chapati forum for the media. You know, the media was not very friendly during the campaign. It's time to forgive each other yeah. and uh, be able to move on. <laughs> and finally, Deno, so many people stand up for this event, actually, behind me and behind you and everywhere. 
What does that mean for you? It means there is a lot of pressure. All these young people you see here are here for the chapati, yes, are here to remember that day, yes, but they're also here to look for opportunities, to see where, wh wh what is, what does government present for them. So all these young people have something in their mind that they want. But most importantly, the Uhuru Kenyatta generation produced a president. The William Ruto generation has produced a president. Our generation must produce a president. So I will be to Najipanga. Very last, very last, away from this initiative. Ah, nikona, nikona job ingine noma sana. Yo job ina ito, come here, go there. Very serious. Very serious. Yeah. So. Well, we wish them well, but we are comfortable with the name. Come here, go there. Very powerful job. <laughs> you would say that. Come here, go there. Kuja hapa, enda pale. Yes. So, I know your message of Christmas and New Year probably to Kenyans and everyone and youth especially. Um, I have a very simple message. Let's go into the Christmas festivities and holidays with a clear mind that we have to transform Kenya not as government but as a people. Yeah. Yes, government has its role to make it happen but we, the people, will ensure that it happens. And a lot has been done for that to go on. Hustler Fund is here. There is subsidized fertilizer to be able to do the farms. So my message is this. It is possible. We have started on a good note. Let us continue focusing and continue aiming towards achieving better in the next coming year. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. But